Lesson 2, Indexes Part 1, Using a Table Without Indexes If TB transactions does not have an index on the transit column, Oracle has to read every row in the table until it finds all publishers that match the WHERE clause of your query. If the table is small, that may not cause a performance problem. As the table grows in size, the time required to return all the matching rows to the user may impact the performance of the application and the business process it supports. Check the query execution plan. Part 2. Creator index by creating a primary key constraint. You can create a unique index in one of three ways, by creating a primary key constraint, by creating a unique constraint, or by creating a unique index. If you create a constraint, you will be able to create foreign keys that refer to it. If you create the unique index first, you will still be able to create a primary key on the table. Oracle will use the existing index as the primary key index. The primary key method is shown here. Then check the query execution plan. Cost of a query is much smaller. Part 3, Creating an Index You create an index via the Create Index command. Index must be a unique name and follow the naming conventions of Oracle columns. Table is simply the name of the table on which the index will be established, and column is the name of the column being indexed. The reverse keyword tells Oracle to reverse the bytes of the indexed value, which may improve the I.O. distribution during the insert of many sequential data values. Delete created earlier primary key constraint. Create the index. Check the query execution plan. Click F4 and check the index. Part 4, Creating a Bitmap Index To help tune queries that use non-selective columns in their limiting conditions, you can use bitmap indexes. Bitmap indexes should only be used if the data is infrequently updated, 
because they add to the cost of all data manipulation transactions against the tables they index. If you choose to use bitmap indexes, you will need to weigh the performance benefit during queries against the performance cost during data manipulation commands. The more bitmap indexes there are on a table, the greater the cost will be during each transaction. You should not use bitmap indexes on a column that frequently has new values added to it. To create a bitmap index, use the bitmap clause of the create index command. Bitmap indexes should not be used for tables involved in online transaction processing applications due to the internal mechanisms Oracle uses to maintain them. Restrict their usage to tables involved in batch transactions. Part 5, Placing an Index in the Database You can specify where the index to a table is placed by assigning it to a specific table space. A table space is a logical division of the database, corresponding to one or more data files. Data files provide the physical storage for the database, sections of disquare tables and indexes are stored. Databases have several table spaces, each with its own name. To enhance availability and management options, an index for a table should be placed in a table space that is on a physically separate disk drive from its corresponding table. To specify the table space in which to locate an index, the normal create index statement is simply followed by the word table space and the table space name. Part 6. Rebuilding an index. The IX Transit Index is rebuilt, via the Rebuild Clause. Its storage parameters are changed to use an initial extent size of 8 MB and a next extent size of 4 MB, in the example table space. Part 7, Function-Based Indexes. You can create indexes that allow function-based accesses to be supported by index accesses. Instead of creating an index on the column product version, you can create an index on the column expression upper product version. Although function-based indexes can be useful, be sure to consider the following questions when creating them. Can you restrict the functions that will be used on the column? If so, can you restrict all functions from being performed on the column? Do you have adequate storage space for the additional indexes? When you drop the table, will you be dropping more indexes, and therefore more extent, than before? How will that impact the time required to drop the table? Function-based indexes are useful, 
but you should implement them sparingly. The more indexes you create on a table, the longer all insert, update, and delete operations will take. Do you want to learn new skills in the fastest and most effective way? Visit learnwithvideotutorials.com